Happy Game Show time! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we've wolfed down a whole week of the Big Brother house in little question-sized form, only to repeatedly sick it all up again into Five Star's televisual plant pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit like that. Our regular team captain can count Katie Price as one of his fans. Lucky that, as counting isn't one of her strong points. It's Jamie East! <laughs> uh, since coming second on The Apprentice, our guest team captain has forged a career as a TV presenter, appearing on some really high-quality programming. And she also did a stint on OKTV. OK it's Kay Jamie, who will you be double teaming with? Uh, my teammate is a man who has better ball handling skills than Maradona. He survived in the house for two weeks until Friday, when the only way was eviction. Ooh. So, Kirk Norcross, Ooh. come on, wander <laughs> over! <laughs> Apprentice this evening. Well, Alice, my teammate has played against Manchester United, Paris Saint Germain. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm going to go with that. And Burnley Reserves. <laughs> but his greatest challenge came when he took on Pete Burns in Celebrity Wife Swap. <laughs> Despite an illustrious career, he only won one England cap, and that was at the bingo in Margate. Oh. Neil, raise the rudder. Come on, wonder a crap. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to you, Juan. Welcome to you all. Do you know? Uh, <laughs> never met her in my life, but I love the text. Are you okay? That's my girlfriend. Are you okay? I'm shagging that. Thank uh, you. <laughs> lovely. Well, that's my get to know you questions out the way. He's going to do um, the quiz first. Ra Razor, Rackets Neil. Uh, what are you making of the series so far? I love it. It's the best one I've watched for a long oh, time. Oh, really? Yes. Have you got a favourite person? Him. Oh, nuts. good. Okay. Well, he's not in it anymore. Uh, do we think it's a classic year? It is now. Absolutely. Oh, Jamie knows stuff that we don't. Know, know. Um, Kirk, is the show better now you've left? Uh, I've not really watched it, but, it, you know, you know, if, yeah, I reckon it could be. Don't cry, it please don't cry. I'm a cry. It's just light, it's just jokes. Oh, God, what No, no, done? you know what, I think you can get better. It's near the end, there's less people, so more people are going to be closer. So there'll be more dramas, I reckon. There's definitely drama happening, that is for sure. Uh, now, Kate, uh, Jamie has won the last two weeks in a row, and tonight, yeah, woo, woo. Uh, and then tonight is the final game show of the series. Can you claw back a victory for the girls? Well, I'm competitive. I want to do it for the girls. However, I'm a little bit concerned that he's got Kirk and he's got insider knowledge. He does have the insider yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. He's have insider yeah, he's got knowledge. the brains. But so I choose yeah. against the point. I'm saying I'm that winning. just in case we lose. I'm covering my back. Yeah, she's definitely hedging her bets there. Okay. Losing. Well, later we'll be showing some exclusive clips from the house. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we'll be telling you the numbers to call to crown your winner. Ah. Oh. Wow. Follow me for the noises. And uh, one of our teams will be leaving with the mystery money can't buy a star price item taken directly from the Big Brother house. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was doing that either. Uh, first, let's catch up with the week. Uh, Denise Welsh, off of Loose Women, offered up a couple of flotation devices to save a drowning child in the jacuzzi. Cool. Uh, viewers also managed to get out another sad-looking tip as Kirk left the building. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's remind ourselves of what else oh, occurred yeah. this week. I just need five minutes away from that. It's really... I don't think I can do it. I can't do it. Do you I'm really sorry. No, you're really... We'd like to be on the blog, would you? I don't give a fuck what happens to any of you. <laughs> Georgia. Oh, ah. sorry. Kirk. You're ah. so good. She's such a fucking bitch. Natalie. This place makes your head fucked. You should do it with this stuff. Live nominations will begin shortly. Do you ever have a panic rank? Who's a panic rank? I can't stand another minute in this house with Denise. Oh, whatever. No, I didn't! Hey, money. What a fag. It's going to end badly. Oh, shut up, my I hate being cold. I was nicely tipsy. <laughs> oh, I said. <laughs> Get off my arse. <laughs> shred, shred. <laughs> I don't to get my tits out. I'm going to gag again thinking about it. <laughs> Box up shit. Just go inside and get pissed. <laughs> Team K for five points. Here's your big question of the week. Us, you ready? Us. Us, us, this us. week saw live nominations take place for the first time. It yeah. got over a million viewers on live right. food, Jamie. Uh, Michael nominated Denise by describing her as what? Emotionally disturbed. 
You got it right. Yeah. Let's check. Let's check. <laughs> I can't stand another minute in this house with Denise. I'm not the source of the argument. Here she is. I feel she's emotionally disturbed. Indeed, yes. emotionally disturbed. They got the well points. Very well done. Well Sorry done. about uh, well Over done. the course of the... Yes, it's fine. Over the course of the series, uh, Michael has also called Denise self-servingly insane and a loony tune. Uh, I can see why the Samaritans let him go. Um, do we think Michael or Denise is to blame for the, the friction? I think Denise, because she's a little bit too aggressive after yeah. she's had a drink. Denise and plus wine. Michael reminds me of my dad in a weird kind oh. of way. Although my dad's not American, but he's got that look. Has and he been in Kill Bill as well, your dad? I wish. <laughs> he was in Free Willy. Unbelievable. Too. But, uh, so maybe that's given me an affinity with Michael. Maybe I'm a little bit... I want to get Mr Walsh. Mr. I think Walsh they want to cool. get it on. Yeah, that's quite cool. happening. It's yeah. a sexual tension, they want to shag each other. I think Denise definitely I think has Denise the hot... I think Denise fancies the pants off. And now he's seen her whoppers. I think it's mutual. It's a sealed deal. Uh, which would we rather win, Denise or Michael? Michael for Michael. Me. <laughs> Both hands up. Michael. Mm -hmm. I swear. He's I swear on the cool. Bible. He is cool, but he's a bit grumpy. Come on. Uh, OK, Jamie and Kirk, here's your own big question of the week. <laughs> Yesterday, Big Brother asked Denise to pick three housemates who she thought were the most gullible, uh, and they were duped into thinking they were appearing on a Japanese chat show, which I would watch. Uh, it was really cool. Uh, who easy. did she choose? Easy. Uh, it's going to be the twins. Twins, Gareth and... Romeo. Oh, twins, Gareth and Romeo. Interesting. Let's see if you're right. Brilliant. Three choices. Gareth, the twins and Romeo. Noruko is applying an ancient face mask made from the droppings <laughs> of the Shimokta monkey. <laughs> okay. It was Gareth, the Twins and Romeo. Five points to you. Well done. Well People done, are... Re you. You're revising this week. It's, it's no fun. It's almost like we watch the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you think in that test we finally got to see, see the real Gareth? Uh, I don't know. I think we've seen the real Gareth all the way through. Definitely. He's been the only one that's, that's kind of just... Yeah, has, hasn't hasn't been a bit mad. From the first task, when everyone had to tell our claims to fame, the Gareth, that was a good time. Was, then then was the, the shredding one. letter was just a great moment, wasn't it, eh? Oh, God. Oh, let's take a oh. moment. so sad. Uh, and he seemed to be the only one that took it in good spirits and wasn't miffed when they realised it was a secret task. He was like, oh, well, whereas I think Romeo was like, God damn it, I he's thought in, I was massive in Japan. He's enjoying himself, yeah, exactly. he? He's enjoying himself, you know, he knows he's there to have a good time and that's what he wants to do, so... Yeah, Kirk, it's all happy. Keep it happy. I'm just worried. I'm keeping an eye on you. Tears. I'm looking at your eyes. I'm keeping an eye on you. Um, would you have chosen the same people as Denise? Do you think they are the most gullible people in the house? Kirk, you've probably got insider... I would have, yeah, I would have chose Gareth, Frankie and... I would have chosen Natalie if she was in there. Do you think Nicola? I thought Nicola might be quite easily convinced. I would have chosen, yeah, no, but she's not as... She might be easily convinced. Gullible, let's be honest. They're <laughs> in there, for God's sake. It, you know, she might not be gullible. She will be gullible, but she won't want to participate with a task, and right. that, could, that could have failed it, you know? She you could have told Romeo anything, and he'd just be like... <laughs> well, I could talk about this bus. for hours, but I can't, uh, because that is the end of the big questions of the week round. Well done to everyone. A round of applause, I think. <laughs> Enough to be on our panel, but definitely good enough to be stripped naked and strapped to a board. And who said the work's drying up for reality stars? Please welcome tonight's scorer. No one likes a walker. This Berkshire bird came second to Jay in the house, but that was a whole lot of competition. Smooth as a baby bum, a pill to verbal diarrhea. Please give him a clap before he gives it to you. It's Mark Henderson. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Mark. If that blackboard gets any thinner, I think we'll be breaking obscenity laws. Are you OK, Mark? Are they pinching you again? He's uh, shagging that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right. You're safe. Um, you do need to stay on top of the scores tonight, although you are naked. Um, are you going to be all right with that? No making up the scores, please. I feel like a political prisoner. <laughs> you're not. You're just a prisoner. Scarface. Um But you're going to be OK with that. Are you cold? Um, no, it's just me knob No, but... No, but <laughs> Just nobody help him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so after that first round, what are the scores, please? Lovely mark. Uh, yeah, I didn't really listen. But uh, Team Jamie has... No, no, no. Team Kate has 10. Yeah. And Team Jamie has 15. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he just sat in the corner. He hasn't got a clue.
So, uh, thank you, Mark. Now, to lead us into the break, we've taken a perfectly ordinary still uh, image of house action and removed an important object from the scene. All the teams have to do is draw in what they think is missing. Uh, to help them along, we placed a cock and balls where the item should be. Uh, so, Kate, you don't have to, you filthy little bitch. Uh, teams, stand by your screens behind me uh, and you'll have uh, those state-of-the-art scar sport story pins. Right. What I tried to say was state-of-the-art sky sport style pens. Uh, so off you go. Draw in what you think is missing. Uh, don't just draw a cock because you will get in trouble and lose points. Uh, extra points will be awarded for anything creative. Uh, Team Kate, what are you thinking immediately? Well, I'm a little bit upset about this because I'm taking my creative direction from Razor here yeah. and uh, it involves Jedward and a lewd act. Jedward okay. spit roast dinner. It, 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 no, there's no mystery. Thank you, Razor. Right, so, okay. uh, yeah, it was going to be a team effort. Quick, quick, you run out me, of time. Me drawing quick. and um, Razor describing. Okay. okay. So me, there's me the spiky there. hair. Another one there. Um, Clear, clearly strong Razor's already. Ju Razor's I'm... just written what he... OK, which we'll probably erase it in the break, to be honest. We'll yeah. already wash that down okay. in the break. Um, Jamie, any ideas? Uh, we've got a few. Yeah, this is from inside experience, by the way. Right. So I'm, I'm a, on my tips I'm a little well. bit worried. You don't want to know. Trust is it, me. Is it, is it crass? Well, of course it's crass. It's crass. Right, they've got the length of the commercial break to get on with it. I shall see you in a minute. <laughs>